hey ai mates uh, today we will see like how we can install uh, comfy ui locally uh, with stable diffusion excel model uh, locally so uh, by this we will be able to generate images so let's quickly uh, go through uh, the entire process so first of all we have to create this uh, comfy ui folder so if i go to my finder app uh, this guide is actually uh, relevant to installing comfy ui uh, over over apple silicon max like m1 m2 m3 and hopefully we have m4 uh, as well so first of all i will go to my projects directory you can uh, go in any directory where you want to go i will create folder here so i am doing open terminal here plus you can see that i have written some notes right so you can uh, get all these notes from this url i will paste the link in the video in the description section and please uh, watch for it so uh, once my once my terminal is open just i need to copy this command which will create a new directory here i named it comfy ui make uh, you can name it uh, what you want right so i am just seeding into this folder make sure you uh, provide it the name of your folder which you have created here right so uh, after that i will clone this repo which is actually uh, comfy ui official repo this one right so i am just copying it I am asking it to uh, clone it in the same directory in, in this my directory once it's done let's move towards this folder which is inside this custom notes right so let me type custom notes right so cd custom notes here uh, why we go here because there is something called comfy ui manager which we need to like uh, update our models and everything every relevant tool that is uh, comfy ui is using so just copy this repo after cloning into it we will clone this repo as well inside this custom note folder once it's done we will uh, go back to that comfy ui folder okay so we have just uh, cloned that repo inside this folder so we just need to go back to our original folder which is comfy ui now uh, you make sure that your system has python 3 installed all right so i am creating a virtual environment with the name of ai uh, you can name it uh, anyone you want other than ai uh, so I have created this environment, but I need to activate this environment now So I am just activating it now. You see it's here. It is showing AI It's been our uh, environment new environment has is been active So after that we will uh, run this command which will upgrade the pip and install this setup tools, right? after that we will uh, install these requirements uh, .txt it has all the dependencies that we need to run comfy ui uh, now we need to uh, install this one you can head over to this pytorch website so here you can see we need to uh, do this preview nightly mac pip python default okay so this is the uh, same command that i am using here but make sure that you copy it from here uh, it might get changed in future right so just we will need to copy it and then we will install it here after installing it after installing it let's we have already done this part okay so there is no issue like if we done this before or this before there is no issue so you can follow the sequence or if you are not for if you not follow the sequence in these two then this is uh, this does not matter right so now we need uh, the files for the models for stable diffusion excel one so you can copy this this link and i have already opened this one here 
right and you can see we need to download we need to download this model we need to download this model right so if i go here need we need this model right so please uh, download this one okay so we also require another model please go to uh, this link to download this one this model and these uh, these models are close to uh, 7 gb this one this previous one and this one is almost a uh, 6 gb this i have opened this link here we need to download this model right and we download we need to download one more file this one from this link i have opened this in here as well this file we need to download this file okay so i have already downloaded uh, all these files just for to save some times and you can see that this file and this file will both these both of these files will go to this models checkpoints directory inside our uh, project folder which is comfy ui for me if you name it differently uh, you know what it is and this va file will go to uh, this uh, inside this models va okay so let's go to this comfy ui first and open this download in new tabs so here you can see we have model directory here and we have checkpoints here so this base file and this refiner file this will be go to here right and this vae file this vae file will go to here right after doing this both of after doing this all these three, uh, three files to moving there to desired locations uh, we can execute this command this python 3 main.py dash dash gpu only make sure that you are in the root of your folder and paste it here so uh, initially it will take some time uh, to boot up it might install some dependencies or to get some files you can see see the logs here uh, soon it will uh, give us a url a local url which we can just copy it from here it is outputting some information you can see it is showing us this mps device mps because i am on apple silicon macbook metal performance shader we need to wait few seconds now here is this url so let's go to this url make sure you type that url correctly so here we are here we can see that we have uh, the models here that we uh, copied into the models directory make sure this is uh, stxl base okay here is our prompt like what we want to um, output this is the negative prompt means uh, ignore we don't want this like we don't want text we don't want any watermark uh, because uh, sdxl is not very good in producing text right uh, this is uh, if we can see this is the seed okay this is our random number it will keep uh, on changing if your uh, selection here is on random you can make it uh, fixed as well or increment decrement randomized fixed as well right uh, the, the, this is steps this is actually iteration uh, image will keep uh, getting refined more and more uh, the ideal number is like uh, 30 to 40 uh, but it, it's also depend on uh, what specs you have uh, means your hardware has to be really good if you want to increase that number uh, but make sure that uh, do not overdo it like do not go with the 100 steps otherwise uh, your image will be deformed right so uh, rest of the settings keep them as it is this is the image dimension width and height batch size like how many images you want to generate definitely if you uh, input a higher number here so it will uh, it will uh, require a good amount of hardware resources as well right so this is our uh, vae and this will output you can see that here we have manager as well because we have uh, cloned uh, the manager repo as well right so if you go to here uh, you you might need to update all if you watching after some time okay so mine is updated so i'm not doing it at the moment 
so and this is our prompt let's see what it do i have i have pressed here you can see it's it is saying q size one it is taking some time yeah this is sampler you can see it will eat up the gpu here quickly and you can also see details here as well you can see it is outputting and you can see the amount of steps you will have it will take like 15 steps you can see here because we have set uh, 15 steps there right you can uh, track the progress here and here as well you can see this progress bar is moving after some time it will output the image here here you can see uh, it is able to output this image it is actually dependent uh, on your hardware specs as well if you modify these settings to max so it will take a good amount of time and good hardware resources is required as well if you see bl black screen this means that you need to lower these steps or um, this dimension here uh, because your memory or your ram your gpu is not uh, enough for to handle this uh, or you can see uh, errors here as well right if i open this image you can see this image we can save it from here and we can do uh, different types of prompts here in comfy way uh, to change the output uh, so that's it uh, we have successfully installed uh, comfy ui a link is uh, down below in the description right and uh, you can easily uh, install it these are uh, very simple steps and not complex one uh, so take care bye bye